you're looking at the next potential JFK mutant DNA MBA engineer um, and potential UN boss so with respect to climate change and stuff like that how would a JFK you know President of Canada and USA and UK yes and UN boss handle climate change well, to handle climate change, you need um, re, um, global policies, right? That means that you have to regulate emissions that are coming from cars, emissions that are coming from plants, electricity generated plants like coal plants, gas plants, um, right? So that is fair for all, and you give people time to phase out what is. Uh, toxic to the environment. For example, in China, coal plants, you know, globally, we might say, hey, you know what? We have five years for every uh, country to phase out all the coal plants in the country, and uh, we want you to convert to gas plants or, uh, you know, some other types, solar power, wind power, right? Um, and we want to see progress in your phase out plan. Let's say five years, we want to see 20% reduction in terms of number of plants reduction in a year in your country. And this is what we want to see. At the same time, we want to see you put up gas plant or alternative energy plant like solar energy, wind power, and stuff like that. Right? So that's how it's regulated right? in terms of uh, climate change. Very... Uh, basic stuff as UN boss because there's a global law that people have to conform to. Uh, Business-wise, it works the same way, right? Global business laws that people have to conform to. Climate, same way, you know, you have emissions standards that people have to conform to and you give them time to conform to that. You know, otherwise, you know, you can't let a country like China get away and say, wow, you know, China has a lot of money, right? There isn't any reason why they can't reduce phase out coal plants in five years. They have lots of money, right? They have surplus and stuff like that. And uh, I can tell you that most people in China would be very happy phasing out the coal plants. Why is that? They don't have to deal with pollution every single day. Just look at the pictures in the big cities. Pollution, they all wear masks, right? Would most people in China like that? Absolutely. Hell yeah. They would like that. Yeah, they love clean air. They want to see the skies. They don't have to wear masks all day, right? So that's how I would regulate climate change, um, right? You have to do it on a global scale. You have to do it with standards that people can meet. And you give people, I'm going to say people, countries time to make changes to in order to conform to that standard. And then you improve on that standard, right? Okay, so that's coal plan. That's car emissions. Uh, it's a whole bunch of other climate stuff. And you got tree standards, you know. <coughs> you know, certain in an acre in your country on average, we want to see the certain number of trees, right? You know, you may have some countries that are just like, you know, they don't really care. So, country, some countries, they might not have the climb to go tree to grow trees and plants yet you get it but some countries do right you might say you know some cl countries have lots of great climates to do that so we have expect them to conform to tree standards uh, fishery standards a lot of countries they don't really care about uh, fishing the heck out of the ocean all the fish in the ocean they all die and the food sources are gone because they can't reproduce right you have standards for that, right? So that's just a few examples how I would regulate things. And this, this is all based on the consensus for the UN coalition, where every country needs to agree on these um, law, they call law, okay? World law and world standards, right? And 51% of the vote wins, okay? 51% of the votes. There's about over 150 countries in the UN, United Nations, and 50%, 51% of the vote wins. Right. Very simple stuff, very powerful stuff that will change things forever. It will change humanity for the better forever. This is the serious side, by the way. 
this video is a serious video, right? The jokes you see online, on, on Twitter, uh, Disney jokes, right? Disney everything, just to make it fun and entertaining, right? But this is serious because um, there's a very good chance that I'd be JFK of USA, Canada, and UK, and the UN boss, right? That's why I need to tell you this so you understand.